Welcome to this video designed to test and improve your understanding of the B1 cell biology for combined science topic. The idea is through rapid fire questioning, you'll see lots of definitions and what you have to try and do is to state the key terms before you get timed out. Either shout them out or write them down before the clock times you out. Let's jump straight in, good luck. Structures found in cells that include the nucleus, mitochondria, chloroplasts and ribosomes are known as organelles or subcellular structures. The control center of the cell which contains DNA is known as the what? It's the nucleus. This is where chemical reactions take place within the cell. It is the cytoplasm. This is where energy is released during respiration. It's the mitochondria. This controls what enters and leaves the cell. cell membrane. This is where protein synthesis takes place within the cell. It's the ribosomes. This is a protective layer found outside the cell that helps support the cell. It's the cell wall. A carbohydrate that makes up the cell wall of plants. It's cellulose. A fluid filled cavity in a plant cell that is used for storage and support. It's a permanent vacuole. An organelle containing chlorophyll found in plants and algae that absorbs energy from sunlight for photosynthesis. It's the chloroplasts. Organisms that do not have a nucleus, for example, bacteria. They're prokaryotes. Cells that have a nucleus includes plants, animals and fungi, etc. They are eukaryotes. A small circle of bacterial DNA. It's a plasmid. A long tail-like structure that is used by some bacterial cells for movement. It's a flagella. The smallest distance apart two objects can be and still be seen as separate objects. It's a resolution. How many times larger an image is than the real object. It's magnification. Long molecules found in the nucleus of all cells made from DNA. They're chromosomes. Deoxyribonucleic acid, the molecule that contains genetic information and makes up chromosomes. It's DNA. A short section of a chromosome made of DNA and contains the instructions for making a protein. It's a gene. Cell division that forms two daughter cells that are genetically identical to the parent cell and contain the same number of chromosomes as the parent cell.
mitosis. A cell that has not yet become specialized. It's undifferentiated. A human embryo cell or adult bone marrow cell that is yet to differentiate. Stem cells. Cells found in an embryo that can differentiate into any type of cell. It's an embryonic stem cell. Cells that can differentiate into limited types of cells. They're adult stem cells. The areas in plants where stem cells are found. They're meristems. Movement of particles from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. It's diffusion. A change in the concentration of a substance from one region to another. It's a concentration gradient. The movement of water through a partially permeable membrane into a solution with a lower water concentration. Osmosis. The movement of substances against the concentration gradient. This process requires energy. Active transport. This is the magnification equation. Magnification equals the image size divided by the actual size. Cells that have undergone differentiation and so have specific structures and organelles to carry out specific jobs. Examples include neurons, sperm cells, muscle cells, root hair cells, xylem and phloem. They are specialized cells. Has a long tail, lots of mitochondria and carries enzymes in its head to digest through the egg cell membrane. Sperm cell. Give the plant a large surface area for absorbing water and mineral ions. It's root hair cells. These plant cells are hollow in the center so that water can flow through them easily. They're xylem cells. This organ is lined with tiny projections called villi to provide a large surface area for absorbing food. It's the small intestine. The area where water and oxygen diffuse out of a leaf is known as stomata. The number of pairs of chromosomes in a human body cell is Twenty-three. Tally up your score. If you did well, well done. If not, why not go through it again and see if you can improve or click on some of the other videos to talk you through some exam questions.